let's say there is a person mr x he asks you for 100 dollar loan and promises to pay back in a week's time but you know for sure that mr x has not returned money or few others that is his credit worthiness is in question what will you do you might decide emotionally but for a bank it would be a practical decision based on mr x's credit worthiness bank will use mr x's credit rating to know his credit worthiness and make a decision so a credit rating is a method of determining the credit worthiness of people groups enterprises non profit organization governments and even whole nations special credit rating agencies assess borrowers financial risk to determine whether or not they will be able to repay loans on time let's dig deep into this hello guys this is shweta and welcome to the world of wall street mojo credit worthiness is a measure of judging the loan repayment history of a borrower to ascertain their worth as a debtor who should be extended a future credit or not for example a defaulter or a person who doesn't pay back his loan on time his credit worthiness is not very promising so the lenders may avoid such a debtor out of the fear of losing their money Credit worthiness applies to people, sovereign states, securities and other entities. There are five criteria of evaluation that lenders use for individuals and businesses: capacity, capital, condition, character and collateral. The three biggest credit rating agencies for security in sovereign states are Moody's, Standard and Poor and Fitch. Now let's understand how the credit worthiness of individuals are measured. So the credit worthiness for individual is evaluated based on several factors. Typically lenders will take a qualitative and quantitative look at the 5 Cs of credit when evaluating a borrower. That is capacity, capital, conditions, character and collateral which we'll take one by one now. First, character. This part judges the background of the borrower. The creditor will evaluate the borrower's educational and employment background. It is a way to learn about the individual's ethics and personal conduct. Second, capacity. Here it determines whether the individual has steady income to pay the installments and interest. Whether they would have enough savings left after paying the expenditure to arrange for the debt obligations. The creditors are also interested in learning about the source of the cash with which the borrower will repay the loan. They would try to determine if their source of cash will be reliable and regular enough to help them honor their debt obligations. The creditors will also evaluate the potential borrower's credit history using their credit scores. A credit score defines a person's credit worthiness using numbers ranging from 300 to 850. Usually a score between 670 and 739 is considered a good score. The lender will also evaluate the borrower's current credit utilization rate which is a percentage of the credit card debt currently being used. Third, capital. Suppose a woman has approached a bank to borrow money to start a snack delivery business out of her home. If the bank learns that the woman has already invested a good deal of her finance into her small business, it will boost its borrower's confidence since her skin is in the game. Having some form of monetary interest in the stake makes the borrower seem genuinely keen in utilizing all the funds well and for the success of the venture since they have invested their own money. It helps to strengthen the borrower's case. Now fourth, conditions. Lender will look at the reason for acquiring the loan. A lender or the bank in this case will usually request reason for the loan, which could be to purchase a house. Apart from borrower's financial condition, the creditors look for reasons not related to them. These could be political economic conditions of the country. If a country is in recession with the interest cuts and job losses, it will weaken the borrower's case. And number 5 is collateral. What is the borrower pledging in assets as a security for this loan? Several studies have been conducted to understand the requirement of pledging an asset as a security against the loan. The easiest example is a lenders can foreclose a property if the property owner cannot make the payment. The factors for judging a company's credit worthiness are the same as above, but analysis is done concerning the business. Lenders often look for security against loans and guarantees especially in the case of high risk borrowers. A high risk borrower has a greater chance of defaulting. Besides banks and lenders normally charge a higher interest rate from such a group to compensate for a greater risk. This brings us to the end of the part 1 of our video on credit worthiness. In the part 2 we will cover the credit worthiness of sovereign state and securities. 
Hope you find this video useful. Please do like and share. If you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, do share in the comment section. We come up with interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and get a notification when we release new videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.